Afternoon and welcome to the University of East London Sports Stop for WBBL Championship Reaction. 
between the London Lions and the Durham Paratonets. Michael Hansmorris with you here from UEL this afternoon as the unbeaten London Lions look to add to their 12-0 league record along with the WBBL Cup and the WBBL Trophy finalists as well having been the Nottingham Wildcats here at UEL yesterday afternoon. 82-39 and in that game which is especially a second half strong showing by the Lions a 43-10 second half doing a lot of the damage as Shanice Beck from Norton led all scores with 19 points and Joe Leadham Warner chipped in with 17 injury news today for London they are without Chantel Charles and Paige Robinson so just the eight players suiting up for London. However, all eight average double digit scoring in the WBBL. Obviously, Shaquille Joseph only one league game played, but an impressive feat nonetheless. As for the visitors from Durham, coming in with a three and nine record, but only one win out of eighth place. And that last playoffs positioning, a battle that will come all the way down to the end of the season. And Coach Lee Davies' team, having added Abby Lowe at Christmas, started to find a little bit of form. And the former Newcastle Eagles coming in and made a huge impact, averaging 22.5 points per game with Durham so far. And shooting nine free throws a game. So something that Durham will need, uh, London will need to be careful of is Durham's ability to get to the free throw line. As... Both teams just going through last minute instructions as head coach Mark Clark waits for his side to break their players huddle. Both teams like to shoot the three. Uh, be something to look out for as this afternoon's game progresses. Lions leading the WBBL with nine three point makes a game. As for Durham, their fourth in three-point attempts at just uh, just over 26 a game. But they have been a little bit inconsistent so far this season, averaging just 26%. But they have had some games where they've got hot, including a recent Bucks game where the majority of this Durham roster plays, where they made 26 threes in a game. And that was something Coach Lee Davies looking to, looking to build on as they continue their improvement in form since the Christmas break. And it will be Durham in their purple kit that are heading out first. Starters for Durham. Number one, Abby Lowe. Number three, L Hendershot. Number five, Goretti Hurtado Barbito. Seven, Katie Bennett. And 21, Jess Wayne. As for the Lions, it will be 11, Holly Winterburn. 14, Kennedy Leonard. 31, Steph Umay. 33, Joe Leadham Warner, and 88, Azania Stewart. And before we get underway, we will have a 24 second reflection to show solidarity with what is the current situation is in Ukraine as the referees just waiting for the Lions to come out onto the floor so we can continue across the BBL and WBBL to show our support and as the Lions just head onto the floor make sure you put your thoughts about the game in the comments can already see a couple of you chip in including Mark from WBBL Review so make sure we keep that and we will keep an eye on those throughout the game as we are now ready for the 24 seconds of reflection
And we are about ready to get underway here from the UEL Sports Dock, London Lions and Durham. It will be Azania Stewart and El Hendershot to contest the tip. And we will see if the Lions can continue this domestic unbeaten streak. As Stewart wins a tip to Winterburn and Leedon Warner goes straight to the hoop, lays it in. And London off to a hot start. Holly Winterburn with the assist. She's averaging league a team was well, second in the team in assists in just under six a game. Of course, behind Kendi Leonard, who is averaging 9.8, including the 23 early this season against Gloucester as Katie Bennett knocks down the corner triple. Katie Bennett, former Seven Oaks Suns junior third year with Durham, shooting 31% from three. As Kendi Leonard now for the Lions bring the ball at to the top. Durham in the 2 3 zone. Leadham Warner tries to find a shooting side. Ball tipped out of bounds by Durham. Jess Wayne there with the deflection. And Lions will have the base, the baseline ball. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. See what they've got drawn up. Leadham Warner. Reverse to Stewart. Good ball by Lions. Leonard comes through, fakes the three, finds Leadham Warner underneath, gets a little bit of contact. And a late whistle, but from up here looked like a good call and it'll be Joe Leadham Warner heading to the line for two shots foul on seven Katie Bennett as Leadham Warner's first does not drop that's her first miss in the WBBL championship from the line this season and makes the correction on the second to tie us up at three as lines now look like we're in a 2 2 1 press, which caused Nottingham some problems yesterday. Barbito's pass forced Katie Bennett back, but she is able to advance the ball to Abby Lowe driving baseline, tries to wrap around passes. Zania Stewart couldn't quite keep the handle to complete the steal, and Durham will have the ball on the end line with 11 seconds left on the shot clock as Bennett looks to inbound. And Wayne underneath the hoop, wide open, and she makes no mistake. And Durham with two field goals on their first two possessions and now in a zone press of themselves. Stewart finds Leader Warner. She will fire up the three just off to the right. Rebound by Hurtado Babito. And Jess Wayne will get the Lions. So Durham set in the half court against this Lions defense. It's second in the league in points per game allowed as Wayne in the corner left is short Abby Lowe contesting the rebound nearly fell to Hendershot but Lions able to get out and run in transition Winterburn back to Leonard couldn't quite find Ume underneath but reverse to Winterburn and her three is off to the right and Lions again showing this pressure with Lowe to Bennett looked like the ball was tipped but Durham keep it alive and now can attack Hendershot down the middle from the middle of the court just ran straight to the rim but Durham themselves sleep in transition Le Leonard finds lead and Warner and she'll get it back Leonard stripped by Wayne and Durham have a chance to go four on two in transition it's Barbito left wing triple is up and good and the Durham lead ten points to three her early on in this Sunday afternoon contest just two minutes, 20 seconds gone here at Sportsdoc. As Leonard now finds Winterburn. And that is a foul. That'll be number two on Katie Bennett. Reaching in. And it looks like Ellie Hutchinson will check in at the scorer's table. But after we get the continuation of players, Winterburn finds Leonard with a great pass on the wraparound and Kennedy Leonard makes no mistake and gets the Lions within four as Barbito fakes the three tries to skip it to low at the top but Leonard with the steal and the coast to coast score and a quick five points for Kennedy Leonard the British guard averaging 13 and 10 this year for the Lions in a second season having come from Herner in Germany as again Durham a little bit too strong on the pass this time turn it over out of bounds so they can get their defence set and here indeed comes a change with Ellie Hutchinson 
wearing 12, replacing Katie Bennett. Um, Lions again looking to work against this 2 free zone. Leonard skip pass to Winterburn over the top of the flare screen. She makes the same wraparound pass. Kenny Leonard, same spot, same result. Holly Winterburn with three quick assists this afternoon, but Durham looking to attack the press with Jess Wayne, but she decides to back it out, finds Hendershot from 15 foot, going to leave it just a little bit long. And Ume with a defensive rebound. And Kennedy Leonard left open this time, right wing. That doesn't go, but Steph Ume, big offensive rebound, looks to turn around and makes it. And Steph Ume with what is at this point a trademark on the offensive glass, coming in averaging 4.6 offensive rebounds a game. Having averaged four last year in the first year with the Lions. And again, the press causing some issues as Durham throw the ball out of bounds. And the Lions will have a chance to take their first two possession lead of the afternoon. Currently 13 points to 10, four minutes gone. As Leonard at the top finds Leader Warner. Give and go with Azania Stewart on the block. Leader Warner's layup just a little bit short, but she will collect her own miss and find an open Holly Winterburn. Right wing triple is up. And time out, Coach Lee Davy of Durham. The Lions getting hot from three. We talked about them leading the league with nine makes a game. And they've got four here early. And they'll take a 16 to 10 lead after four minutes, 20 seconds. And welcome back to the University of East London, where the London Lions lead early on in this contest, 16 points to 10. Eight points from Kennedy Leonard, including two of two from downtown. And Holly Winterburn with three points and three assists, including that three to force the Durham timeout after the visitors had started strongly. And jumped into a six-point lead. So a seven-point lead at 10 to three. Um, we'll see what adjustments Durham have made as his zone press has caused some problems. Ume finds Hutchinson and she turns it over. And Coach Lee Davies' clipboard goes flying back on his chair, clearly not happy with the execution of what they talked about in that timeout. And we'll see if Lions can capitalise in the zone. Zania Stewart from the elbow knocks it down. The pass fake that throws the Durham defence as they were worried about those three-point shooters. And Zania Stewart with the calm and collected jump shot as Abby Lowe looks to respond the right wing triple up a little bit too strong and Holly Winterburn will lead the Lions in transition finds Leonard she will get the baseline wraparound pass to Leedon Warner pump fake and finds Leonard who relocated in the corner three in and out but Leedon Warner another offensive rebound and she will keep it alive with Steph Ume and Leedon Warner gets the ball back again Lions just struggling from the left corner as that three does not go and it'll be Jess Wayne to set Durham up as Abby Lowe quick release from the corner and knocks her knocks down her first basket of the game. Abby Lowe shooting 29% for Durham in the WBBL Championship this season as Mazania Stewart finds a cutting Leonard on the baseline. Reverse layup just a little bit too short. And Jess Wayne will come away with it. Find Abby Lowe and they're going to call a hand check on Leedon Warner and we'll get the first substitutions of the afternoon for the Lions in wearing number three Shanice Beck for Norton and number 10 Cassie Breen and it will be Winterburn and Leonard to take a break. As 
Hurtado Bobito trying to find El Hendershot at the top of the three-point line, but Leader Warner with great hands gets the steal. Great pass to Stewart, but just a little rushed by Zania Stewart trying to pass the ball while still in the air to a cutting Ume and uh, just a little bit too far out in front. And a rare turnover for the Lions, who only average 11.4 turnovers a contest. No other team in the WBBL inside 14 and a half as, again, the length of Lions causing some issues. Another deflected pass as Hendershot tries to skip it, but that is too strong over the head of Hurtado Babito. And it will be yet another Durham turnover. That's their sixth turnover already as substitutions coming for both sides in for Durham wearing six Aaliyah Samuels Campbell and for the Lions their new addition number nine Shaquilla Joseph as Beckford Norton setting up the Lions in a horn set is Ume going to try and drive on Hench uh, sorry, on Hutchinson beats her but cannot convert on the layup and it'll be Jess Wayne looking to push in transition finds Hutchinson she'll Give it back to Wayne, the three up and long. Ume fighting for the rebound and she is fouled as she was just about to outlet the ball by Abby Lowe. And that will be the third team foul, I believe, on Durham. Indeed, it is first on Abby Lowe. As we just about to cross under the three minute mark left of this opening quarter. Lions leading by five as Joseph working on Hendershot in the paint. Turnaround jump shot. And a Hendershot with the reach in. She'll be called for her first personal fourth team foul. And it'll be Shaquilla Joseph to the line. She shot, she's shooting 68% this year in Hungary. And was one of one in her opening championship game for the Lions. As Joseph goes two of two and extends this London lead up to seven points. This time Lions showing a little bit of pressure but not really committing and allowing Dunn to bring the ball up and they'll find Hendershot with now 10 on the shot clock. Lions denying the handoffs. Nowhere for Hendershot to go. Eventually finds a scoop pass to Hutchinson, deflected out of bounds by Cassie Breen. And Durham will have just three seconds left on the shot clock. And it will be Samuels Campbell to inbound, looking for a lob pass to Hendershot. Turnaround jump shot to beat the shot clock a little bit too long and she needs Beck for Norton with the rebound and she will push the ball ahead Cassie Breen open in the corner finds Ume underneath and she is double teamed and will reset the offence for the Lions as Beck for Norton with the triple from the right corner a little long but Lee Warner deflects it out and Shaquilla Joseph will find Beck for Norton once again Joseph with the pick and pop Gets the ball knocked away from behind by Abby Lowe. And Lions will have four seconds to work with. And Mark Clark will decide to draw up something during the timeout. And with Lions leading 20 to 13, we'll take a quick break here at UEL.
and welcome back to Sports Talk here at the University of East London with 2.07 left of the first quarter. We'll see what coach Mark Clark drew up. It is a rescreen for Leedon Warner and Shaquilla Joseph knocks down the 15 foot jump shot from the corner and a good execution by the Lions on the play that head coach Mark Clark drew up in that timeout as Abby Lowe coming off stagger screens finds a cutting Hender shot she is double oh sorry, double teamed almost but Leedon Warner comes up with the steal and she's going to push find Ume under the basket and as easy as you like for Steph Ume as Joe Leedon Warner with a second steal of the afternoon and another Durham turnover that's eight in this first quarter leading to 12 Lions points as Abby Lowe with the floater and she'll get caught on the trail by Cassie Breen and uh, Durham's leading score will head to the line. Abby Lowe is 73% free throw shooter, shooting nine a game. And she will connect on the first. Second in and out and rebound tip to Cassie Breen. That was the first Durham points in just under three and a half minutes as Cassie Breen left wide open on the right wing. Durham falling asleep in the zone and if there's one person in the WBL you do not want to leave open. It is Cassie Breen shooting 41% from three. In a second season with the Lions as Hendershot and Shanice Beck for Norton tied up on the lob pass. Beck for Norton getting behind and as Hendershot went to turn met nothing but she needs back for Norton but possession arrow favouring Durham and they will have the opportunity to inbound the ball from the end line 12 left on the shot clock it will be Samuels Campbell to trigger looking for Abby Lowe but the ball almost slips out of hands and Ume comes up with it and lines again are looking to run Leedon Warner cross court pass to Breen she fakes the three drives finds Joseph inside blocked though by Jess Wayne great defensive play by the American out of Emporia State Division 2 and it will be Lions with the ball on the baseline 48 seconds left of this opening quarter lead and Warner reverse the ball to Beck Norton Breen off a double screen gonna get a three up oh in fact it's a long two Cassie Breen's right foot just on the line but no mistake by the sharpshooter out of Central Michigan and this London lead up to 15 as we close in on the end of the first quarter. Hendershot to Wayne. Left wing triple is up and good. And the Lions trying to be aggressive in transition. Beck for Norton. Throws it long. And the referees initially giving it London ball. But um, Ian Green on the baseline having a quick conversation with the referee and did indeed confirmed that the pass was overthrown so Durham will get the final shot of this first quarter as Hendershot too low under pressure by Leedon Warner forcing her to drive and Joe Leedon Warner asking for the hook but instead called for the blocking foul that will be her second personal foul and it will be Kennedy Leonard going to the scorers table presumably to check in for Lead and Warren indeed it is with 5.7 seconds left of this first quarter. And it will be Samuels Campbell again to trigger the inbound. See what Durham have got. Hendershot double teamed. Samuels Campbell pump fake takes one dribble inside. Leaves it a little short. Jess Wayne with the rebound and is fouled just before the end of the quarter. Cassie Breen's momentum taking it into Jessica Wayne. And there will be two shots to come. We'll see if the referees put any time left on the clock. There should be at least a tenth. Uh, referees deciding there is no time at all on the clock. So Jess Wayne with no lineup cannot connect on the first. But does on the second. And that'll end the first quarter here with the London Lions leading 29 points to 18.
And welcome back as we are about to get the second quarter underway. The London Lions leading the Durham Palatinates 29 to 18 after 10 minutes. And the story of the first quarter for Durham is their turnovers. It's nine turnovers in the opening period. Lions converting that for 14 points. As the Leeds leading scorers notch up another strong quarter. Offensively, Lions coming in averaging 96.1 points per game. And it's Kennedy Leonard who's uncharacteristically struggled to score yesterday in the WBBL Trophy semi-final against Nottingham, leading the way with eight points personal, along with two assists. And it'll be Leonard to start the second quarter. The ball in her hands as Joseph pick and pop again out the horn set, finds Cassie Breen, left wing triple up and good for Cassie Breen. Her third field goal of the afternoon on just three shots. And she's up to eight points personal. As Barbito skips it to Wayne, looking to drive. Has to give it back to Atado Barbito with six left on the shot clock. Hendershot popped under the pressure and she will get the ball back. But the shot clock will expire. But after Shanice Beck Norton takes it out of her hands. And she will go coast to coast and make the layup. And all the Durham players have just stopped. But, but Beck for Norton had the ball in her hands. And she'll be credited with the steal and the easiest lap you've ever seen. As Durham just assumed that it was a 24 second violation. But the referees rewarding Beck for Norton for the defense. And now the shot clock hadn't started. After that pause, the game clock is still running. So hopefully that's spotted fairly soon by our table officials. As Otardo Bavito finds Natufu in the corner. Couldn't work out quite who that was for a minute. The former City of London Academy junior back in her hometown as Joseph inside. A little bit too strong, but Azania Stewart with another big offensive rebound. And she'll reset the ball as Beck for Norton to Leonard. Left corner triple up. A little bit short. And this time Hendershot able to pull down a defensive rebound for Durham. And they will look to be aggressive in transition. As Otardo Barito trying to find Natufu in the, on the block. And the ball deflected out of bounds. And it'll be Hurtado Babito to inbound the ball for Durham from the end line. 13 on the shot clock. Durham enough. What is, can only be described as a four high stack above the three point line. And now the ball skipped back to Jessica Wayne driving past Stewart. Has to take a tough running shot. Leaves it way off to the left. And Azania Stewart with a rebound and a quick outlet. Lions have four on three. It's Breen. And Durham do well to 
slow lines down, forces him into the half court, but Beck for Norton drives baseline, skips the ball to Cassie Breen. And Lions will have six seconds left to work. Breen on the turnout screen, a little bit long. And Hurtado Babito finding Wayne, gets past Beck for Norton, did well not to get called for the blocking foul. And the three again up by Durham, just this time a little bit off to the left. Durham have shot it relatively well. That's a four of eight shootings. Leonard tries to find Stewart inside, and Zania Stewart losing a balance, tries to keep the ball alive. Finds Leonard, but just a little bit too long. And Durham now will come away with it. Hendershot finds a cutting. Samuels Campbell but the ball bounces off a knee and Lions again will have a chance to go in transition three on two Leonard skip pass to Breen and Cassie Breen knocks down the corner triple she is four of five shooting including three of four from three as Hendershot goes to the rim lays it home for two and the Lions players talking with the table officials because the clock had stopped and they had stopped playing, but obviously referees hadn't blown the play dead, so a layup will be good. And we will get subs both ways as the table officials and the referees talk it over and see what we're going to do. And we will get back underway as here at UEL. Breen to Joseph. Her pass tipped away by Abby Lowe and Dern will be able to come up with the steal. But Shaquilla Joseph strips it from Abby Lowe. But the ball thought she just bounced on the sideline. And again, London with the length and active hands causing Dern a lot of problems. And Cassie Breen will take a breather. And Holly Winterburn checking back in for the Lions. As Beckford Norton tips the ball from behind, away from Hendershot. And Durham being aggressive, driving inside and foul. Looks like it's going to be on the Zania Stewart. We'll see what the referee signal. Indeed, it is 88. who goes two of two from the line. And Durham looking like they're trying to press London. And Holly Winterburn able to bring it over, finds Leonard. Back to Beck for Norton in the corner, she drives. Good hands by Durham, forced her to skip the ball, but Winterburn on the redrive finds Shaquille Joseph, but that short two just a little off. And Kenny Leonard able to knock the ball the outlet pass from Hendershot looking for Abby Lowe away and Lions will come up with it Joseph deep in the paint working on Hendershot goes up and under gets the contact Hendershot just moving to a left ever so slightly oh in fact referees calling the foul on zero the two foot and instead of El Hendershot and Shaquilla Joseph back to the line for the second time this afternoon. Uh, Shaquilla Joseph unable to make the second and the Lions lead is stuck at 14. As uh, Hendershot again not having success, Lions with another steal, Leonard 
looking for Chiquito Joe's got good position but Lions couldn't find a back for Norton pull up two up and good and Shanice back for Norton with her second field goal of the afternoon and the Lions have the biggest lead of the game as Izzy Wood who's checked in is in the corner fakes the three and draws the foul on Holly Winterburn on the closeout Izzy Wood another player out of Seven Oaks Suns Academy system who got some experience in the WBL last year with the Suns before starting her university degree up in Durham in September as Durham unable to have success from the baseline ball going straight out of bounds so it'll be a London ball in the same spot as the original inbound as Durham again looking to set up the press and cause Lyons some issues but Winterburn and Leonard able to move the ball between themselves well and Winterburn now finds Beck for Norton open from the right wing three just a little out but Azania Stewart able to get a tip on it and Steph Ume comes up with yet another offensive rebound Leonard her three up and no good but another offensive rebound Leonard to Stewart gets the contact from Hendershot converts and we'll have a chance for a three point play as Zania Stewart in a second season back having been bought out of the Riders by retirement so by Leicester Riders last year out of retirement having previously been at TTT Riga but Stewart will have to wait for the three point play as coach Lee Davy calls his second time out of the first half with his side trailing 24 points to 42 Welcome back to London where Azania Stewart will have a chance to complete the three-point play. Stewart shooting 83% from the line. This time a little long, but a fight for the rebound. Abby Lowe just about able to come up with it. And her outlet tipped out of bounds by Steph Ume. And Durham will retain possession. As Abby Lowe splitting the trap by Leonard and Leedon Warner but the pass just a little bit too strong she was expecting Hurtado Babito to be running down the wing and just a little slow setting off and Durham rack up their 15th turnover of the contest Lions have already got 23 points from those turnovers as Kenny Leonard will get the Lions up into a set Winterburn to Stewart trying to find Leedon Warner underneath great pass by Azania Stewart and Leedon Warner able to convert the reverse layup and this lead for the first time this afternoon is into the 20s for the hosts as Hendershot finds Lowe she will fire up from straight away and Abby Lowe makes her second triple of the afternoon and is leading all scores now for Durham with seven points as Winterburn to Leonard finds Azania Stewart cutting down the middle of the paint and Azania Stewart turns from facilitator to scorer as all Durham just get the ball over before the eight second violation Izzy Wood 
reverse to Abilo. She will drive and a foul will be called on Steph Ume for the push. That will be the third team foul this quarter for the Lions. As into the game for the first time. Wearing nine for Durham, Ava Patesha. And Lions come up with yet another steal. It's Leonard to Ume. Gets the contact and makes the layup. And London will have another chance for a three-point play. Foul on Ava Patesha. That is her first personal third team foul of the quarter for Durham. And Steph Ume, a 87% free throw shooter, but can't make the second. Lead and Warner tips the offensive rebound back out to Ume, and she will get the contact from the Tufu. And foul is called on the floor. So fourth team foul now for Durham with 5.05 left of the quarter as Leonard. On the inbound, finds Winterburn, left corner triple, a little bit long. And Durham have a chance to run as Abby Lowe open underneath, but the pass just a little bit too far ahead. And unfortunately for Coach Lee Davey, and inside, the turnovers just keep manning up. Durham now with 17 turnovers in this contest and only 17 field goal attempts so far. As Leonard calling out the set, finds Stewart in the high post. We saw her hit a jump shot from there in the first quarter. This time can't go, but another offensive rebound. Ume tipped it, finds Lee and Warner. Ume gets it back, finds Leonard. Left wing triple from where she hit two in the first quarter. A little bit strong, but another offensive rebound. Leonard fires again, this time can't go. Another offensive rebound of Ume finds Lee and Warner. She fakes the three, going to drive, get onto the baseline. Leonard to Stewart, little tip pass and and a, just a whistle after the basket, so players have stopped and referee apologising, just an accidental blow of the whistle, but the basket on the alley-oop for Zania Stewart will count, and the Lions are up to 50 points leading by 23 with 4.15 left of this first half as Hendershot takes a break and is replaced by Jess Wayne as Holly Winterburn nearly comes up with another steal. But Abby Lowe will set her feet behind the three-point line, be a little bit too strong on the three. And Holly Winterburn looks to go coast to coast, gets it knocked away by Jess Wayne, but somehow still manages to keep the ball alive. And Holly Winterburn spying up where she passed the ball. That three in and out, Leedon Warner keeping her feet just inside the line. Good footwork by Joe Leedon Warner and Durham will knock the ball out of bounds and that will allow coach Mark Clark to get Janice Beck Norton back into the contest. She will replace Steph Ume as Alliance now with 14 offensive rebounds. Durham only have 12 defensive rebounds of their own as Beck Norton finding Winterburn. She will drive Lee and Warner on the pop, will attack the closeout, find a cutting of Zania Stewart. And the two veterans of the Lions group working again together really well. Azania Stewart and Leedon Warren. It doesn't matter which one's passing the ball, which one's scoring. They can both do a little bit of everything as Wayne, under pressure, gets the foul called. Kennedy Leonard with the reach in. That will be the fourth team foul for the Lions. First personal on Leonard. And now both teams are going to be in the bonus for the final 3.17 of the first half. As the inbound just about goes over the head of Beck for Norton. But the turnaround jump shot can't go as Amy Stewart with the rebound. Double teamed. But there is a reach in called on one. That is Abby Lowe. And that will be two free throws coming the way of the Lions for Azania Stewart. Second personal on Abby Lowe. And Lions going back to the line where they have uncharacteristically strolled this afternoon. Just four of eight so far. 
for Alliance team that were coming in. Shooting 82% from the line. Leading the WBL by nearly 10% in free throw percentage. Next closest team are Sheffield Hatters with 73.5%. And Azania Stewart able to make both. And she is now the second Lion into double figures. Her and Cassie Brunas. Leonard nearly comes up with the steal. Tries her to keep the ball alive but throws it back into the hands. But the two foods pass straight into the hands of Leiden Warner. And she will have a chance to get Lions going in transition. Winterburn finding the trailing Azania Stewart. Ball moving. Finds Leiden Warner on the low block. Skip pass to Beck for Norton. Attacks the closeout and she knows the foul is coming as Potecha reaches in with two hands, throws it up and will go to the line for two. Referees probably going to call that in the act of shooting regardless, but either way, with Durham in the penalty, it will be two shots for Shanice Beck for Norton. And that will be the first time she has gone to the line this afternoon. has a 78% free throw shooter. Beck for Norton is, as with a lot of this Lions group, in her second year. The LSU graduate able to go two of two from the line. And the Lions able to have a big run as Leader Morton nearly comes up with a steal. Wayne puts the ball on the floor and a fight for it. And Holly Winterburn gets back in the play having nearly come up with a steal and she is guarding Wayne ball screen coming for Wayne driving to left hand tries to find Barbito in the corner but Leedon Warner reads the reads the pass and lines with another steal as Beckford Norton will bring it out for, skip pass to Winterburn left corner triple up and good and Holly Winterburn able to make her second of the afternoon as Leedon Warner again deflecting the pass, unfortunately not coming up with it. And Barbito will find Patesha, but she is unfortunately already out of bounds. And Durham with a, another turnover. And Patesha too close to Holly Winterburn, bumps her out of bounds. And that will be another trip to the line for the Lions. It's going to be the 13th and 14th free throw attempts of the first half. Third personal foul on Patesha. Former Sheffield Academy graduate. Averaging just over eight minutes a game for the Lions as Winterburn goes one of two. And the Lions up to 60 points in this opening half. One minute 45 left. As Barbito tries to drive on Azania Stewart. But Azania Stewart able to knock the ball away from behind. Stewart averaging one and a half blocks a contest with her first of the afternoon. And we'll see what Durham can do from the baseline. Abby Lowe, little head fake. Beck for Norton with the arms gets the steal two on one. Beck for Norton bounce pass to Leonard, and she will lay it home for two. Kennedy Leonard, the third lion into double digits, now up to ten points personal to go with six assists and two steals. As Barbito finding Abby Lowe, and this time Winterburn trying to knock it loose, but will make contact with the arm, and Abby Lowe will head to the free throw line for the second time and end what has been a long drought for Durham on the offensive end it's their first points in four and a half minutes of this second quarter as Lions had gone on an 18-0 run as Lowe goes two of two up to nine points personal leading all scorers for the visitors As we're into the final minute of the first half, Leader Warner ball at the top, reversing two back for Norton, attacks the closeout, pull up, little short, but another rebound pulled down by the lines. Leader Warner skip past two Leonard fights. Well, sorry, to eventually two Leonard. It was by Winterburn and Shanice Beck for Norton with another offensive rebound, and she is fouled as lines continue to dominate the glass. They're up to 15. 
15, make that 16 offensive rebounds in this opening half. Durham still with only 13 defensive rebounds. And it'll be Beckford Norton who went two of two from the line on her first trip with a chance to add to her tally. And Shanice able to continue her 100% shooting this afternoon from the charity stripe as we're into the final 40 seconds. So probably one possession each offensively left of this first half. As Barbito looks to set the ball screen. Line's going to trap it. Ball deflected. Referees looking at each other. And coach Lee Davey unhappy with the call. It looked like it potentially did come off the body of one of the lines in the trap. Uh, referees going to talk it over and indeed change their decision. It's going to be Durham Ball with eight seconds left of the shot clock. 28 seconds on the game clock. Hurtado Babito with the inbound. Skip pass to Lowe. She'll set her feet for a long two. Abby Lowe just a little bit long. And Beck for Norton with the rebound. Kenny Leonard ahead of the pack. Lions throw it. Leonard to lead and Warner. And more transition points for the Lions. They're up to 23 points in fast break points of this first half. And they've hit 66 points in this opening half as Barbito with four on the shot clock finds Wayne throws it up to beat the buzzer just a little bit short and that will do it from UEL Sports Club at half time it's London 66 Durham 29 and Zania Stewart leading all scorers for the Lions with 12 points personal to go with six rebounds Joe Leadham Warner, triple double watch, seven points, six rebounds, six assists in the first half, along with a team high three steals. And Kendi Leonard with 10 points, seven assists as well. As for Durham, unfortunately, it's been a tale of rebounding issues and turnovers for the visitors. Abby Lowe leading all scores with nine points. But unfortunately for Durham, it's the 20 turnovers which lines have converted to 34 points. And we will take a break here from London with the hosts leading 66 points to 29 at half time.
And good afternoon and welcome back to UEL Sports Talk for WBBL Championship Action. It is London Line 66, Durham Palatinate 29 at the half. Another dominant performance by this undefeated Lions squad. And they're well on the way to surpassing their season average of 96 points per game. And a win here would put them at 13-0 in the WBBL Championship of course Lions WBBL Cup winners and having completed a victory yesterday afternoon here at UEL 82-39 over Nottingham Wildcats also in the WBBL Trophy Final and they will find out their opponents for that final over the next 90 minutes to 2 hours as the Leicester Riders and Seven Oaks Suns in the other semi-final will have just tipped off in Loughborough. This is one of three WBBL Championship games this afternoon. We've already got a final score from Cardiff where a fourth quarter comeback for the Wildcats of Nottingham able to rescue an 82-74 victory in Cardiff. And then in 25 minutes time they will get underway in Gloucester as the Gloucester City Queens and Caledonia Pride will match up in an important game for the eighth seed and in the playoffs a position there Durham are still capable of achieving themselves this Durham side three and nine heading in but just one win out of eighth place in the league and it'll be Durham to get us underway in this second half L Hendershot, Katie Bennett, Jess Wayne, Abby Lowe and Ellie Hutchinson in for Durham and for the Lions, it's Kennedy Leonard, Zania Stewart, Joe Leader Warner, Shanice Beckford Norton, and Cassie Breen. And it'll be Katie Bennett who had foul trouble in the first half, looking for El Hendershot, but Leader Warner with another steal. And Beckford Norton going coast to coast, gets the contact from Ellie Hutchinson, and she will go to the line for a three point play. And Shanice Beckford not on the fourth Lion into double digit scoring. She's now up to 10 points personal to go with four assists, three rebounds and two steals. And a reminder, we are on triple double watch as well for Joe Leadham Warner. Seven points, six rebounds, six assists in the first half. Along with three steals. As Hutchinson rejects the ball screen from Hendershot. Now trying to find her teammate cutting down low. Hendershot in the paint. Beckford Norton comes up with a steal. And Leadham Warner will find Beckford Norton who will drive to the rim. Left-handed layup is good. And Shanice Beckford Norton with four quick points to start the second half. As Wayne fakes high, comes back door. Beckford Norton able to just about get in front. Looked like Jess Wayne would have a layup. Abby Lowe firing up the three off the glass. Beckford Norton with the rebound and outlets it ahead to Cassie Breen. Lions again moving the ball well. As Leonard now finds Stewart just outside the block. Skip pass to Breen. Beckford Norton in the corner. Tries to find his Stewart. Ball deflected but 
is Cassie Breen who will find it. Six left on the shot clock. Leonard to Stewart. Zania Stewart just a little short on the layup. And Abby Lowe will look to push Wayne. Now, receiving the screen, will step back long. I thought it was going to be a long two, but three given by the referees. And Jessica Wayne with her second triple off the afternoon. And now the joint leading score for Durham with nine points personal. As Beckford Norton hands it off to Leonard. 12 on the shot clock. Breen off the down screen. Catch and shoot. And no mistake for Cassie Breen. Another strong performance off the bench for Cassie Breen. She's up to 13 points personal on five of six shooting. As Hendershot inside skips it to Bennett. Abby Lowe, head fake, going to drive. Leadon Warner able to make life difficult for Lowe. And Shanice Beck for Norton with the rebound. Full court pass to Leonard. And Kennedy Leonard lays it up for two. And this lead out to 43 points for the Lions. As Wayne, working with Hendershot, finds her compatriot inside. She will go to the full way off the side of the glass. Leonard with the defensive board. And she will not get stopped. Done falling asleep on transition. Little scoop layup short. And Ellie Hutchinson able to pull down the rebound. Dribbles it into traffic. Leonard with the steal. She will get the contact from Hutchinson and she will go to the line for two free throws Ken Leonard the University of Colorado graduate who last year averaged 11 and a half assists, assists a game this year numbers ever so slightly down but uh, still staggering 9.8 assists a game domestically for Kennedy Leonard to go with 13.3 points and four rebounds and three steals as her first free throw is good and Leonard goes two of two from the line as Katie Bennett will bring the ball up for Durham these two sides will meet in Durham next week as Bennett and Hendershot off on different pages but for Norton tries to split the double team um, we will have a tie up between Katie Bennett and Kendi Leonard and the possession arrow favours the London Lions and Cassie Breen will trigger the inbound Lions in a stack and it's back for Norton to Leonard Cassie Breen off the double screen puts the ball on the floor and a reach in called on Katie Bennett that will be her third personal foul. Third team foul as well for Durham. With just three minutes gone of this third quarter. As Leadon Warner sets the screen. Beckford Norton in and out dribble. Beats Abby Lowe and she will foul her on the reach in. And that will now put Durham on the verge of being in the penalty. Next foul will send Lions to the line. Third personal on Abby Lowe. So Coach Lee Davey managing some foul trouble. Along with the score as Leonard cuts back door. Finds Alida Warner. And her layup is good. And Kendi Leonard now up to 14 points and 9 assists. As... Durham trying the high low. Cassie Breen able to save the ball. Tiptoed on the baseline. And Shanice Beck for Norton pushing in transition coast to coast. Leadon Warner back to Stewart. She will fake the ball to Breen and find her ex-GB teammate. Give and go Leonard. And the ball tipped out of bounds on the skip pass, or the pass over the top. Looked like it was going to fall into the hands of Cassie Breen. But instead, Lions will have the baseline ball. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Breen off the stagger screen. Stewart to Beck for Norton. Lead and Warner. Going to attack the baseline. Beat Abby Lowe. Trying to find the Zaney Stewart ball. Tipped away. Cassie Breen's going to have to beat the buzzer. And unfortunately does not. Ball just in Cassie Breen's hand. So 24 second violation. And good defence by Durham to force 
And the Lions turnover is just the sixth of the afternoon for the Lions. And they're on pace for about their season average. They're only averaging 11 turnovers a game as Hendershot hands it to Bennett. Layup, a little strong. Good defence by Kendy Leonard to stay straight up and force a tough contested look as Leedon Warner pushing the ball ahead and Abby Lowe able to get back in the play and tip the ball out of bounds as coach Mark Clark looks to his bench and sends in Shaquilla Joseph and Steph Ume and out comes Azania Stewart and Shanice Beckford-Norton. As Leedon Warner gets past Abby Lowe, finds Cassie Breen in the corner. Left wing triple is short, but Leonard with the offensive rebound finds Ume underneath. Six now on the shot clock. Ume working on Hendershot, has to kick it. Extra pass by Leedon Warner, broken up by L Hendershot. And Dunn will have a chance to run. Hutchinson ahead to Abby Lowe, behind the back pass will find Katie Bennett. But Katie Bennett's three up and just a little long. Dunn. Shot well in the first half with 6 of 13 from downtown so far. 46% that one. Fortunately for Katie Bennett, just a little too strong. As Leonard now finds Leadham Warner on the flare screen by Joseph. That three up and a little long. As Lions shooting 32% themselves from downtown. Bennett finds Hutchinson, her three up from the corner. Again, a little too long. And Leadham Warner with a, another rebound. That's her eighth of the afternoon to go with 9.7 assists. As Ume working inside on Henshot and makes the tough finish over the top. As coach Lee Davey sending two players to the substitution table as Abby's lo Abby Lowe's three long. Leonard with the rebound and a push. Finds Cassie Bring great pass to the left corner Abby and Cassie Breen makes no mistake and that's Kennedy Leonard's double double complete 14 points 10 rebounds and Cassie Breen now the leading score for the Lions with 16 points personal including four of five from three as Hendershot picks the dribble up in all sorts of trouble against Shaquille Joseph finds Abby Lowe on the back door cut her contested layup over Cassie Breen strong and another rebound for Leonard that's her six finds Shaquille Joseph and that layup from Joseph cannot go and both teams looking a little bit tired with the tempo up as Ellie Hutchinson finds Jess Wayne looking for Hendershot in the post she squares up skip pass over the top Abby Lowe driving on leading one and loses the ball off her foot and Shaquille Joseph was going to get it but the ball out of her reach and substitutions are in Holly Winterburn checking in for leading Warner and as for Durham Abby Lowe taking a breather along with Ellie Hutchinson and in for the visitors is 11 Izzy Wood and 6 Aaliyah Samuels Campbell as Winterburn hesitation dribble reverse layup a little too strong and Jess Wayne fouled on the rebound Steph Ume with the reach in Ume's second personal foul first foul of the quarter for Lions who are leading this third quarter 18 points to three with seven minutes gone as Hendershot again under pressure by Joseph as Izzy Wood unable to receive the handoff now eight on the shot clock as Wayne gets the switch with Ume finds Bennett pump fake one dribble pull up for Katie Bennett a little short but El Hendershot nearly pulling down the offensive rebound but ball into the hands of Cassie Breen and she'll find her point guard Kennedy Leonard as Lions again averse the ball Shaquille Joseph on the baseline a lot of contact but no foul called and Durham will have a three on two in transition Bennett finds Hendershot Winterburn tries to take the charge but forces the skip pass to Wood and now Hendershot working on Winterburn and she'll be called for the hand check third personal foul on Holly Winterburn and Durham will have the end line ball. As Bennett 
pass stolen off the inbound by Leonard and it's a four on two for Lions. Leonard to Umay, layup is good. And Steph Umay up to eight points personal, 12th assists of the ball game for Kennedy. Leonard to go with seven rebounds, four assists. And of course those 14 points and an offensive foul is called away from the ball. Foul is on seven, Katie Bennett. I believe for a moving screen. And it'll be Lions ball from the sideline. It'll be fourth personal foul on Katie Bennett. And obviously with an being an offensive foul, no free throws coming. As Winterburn working in the post on Wood, skips out to a wide open Cassie Breen. Her three off to the right. And Jess Wayne will pull down the rebound. Durham done a lot better job in the second half of rebounding. Lions had 16 offensive rebounds at the half. As Samuels Campbell underneath the hoop has nowhere to go. Tries to force it up and I can't tell you who got the block. But it was one of Holly Winterburn or Shaquilla Joseph. Looked like maybe both of them got their hand to it. And now Joseph with the ball in the post working on Hendershot will go all the way round. And is called for the travel. Just a little shuffle of the feet by Shaquilla Joseph. And good post defence there by L Hendershot. For Durham who still only have three points in this third quarter. Hendershot to Samuels Campbell. Bennett cutting back door. She tries to tip the ball to Izzy Wood but goes straight into hands of Lyons and Leonard finds Breen out in transition. And Lyons with more points off turnovers and fast break points simultaneously. They're up to 28 fast break points now this afternoon. As Bennett finds Wayne square up on Cassie Breen. Going to drive to the left. Winterburn with the help. Leaves Bennett wide open. Her free contested by Leonard and Joseph with the rebound and she'll give the ball up to Cassie Breen who just gets it over to beat the 8 second violation and now Kendi Leonard looking for the ball screen by Joseph Leonard getting into the paint and the pass just a little too long over the head of a cutting Steph Umay and it'll be Shanice Beck for Norton who will replace Leonard Reminded up coming into this game, all eight Lions who was kitted up today and healthy for Mark Clark, averaging double digits each in the WBBL Championship as Hendershot skips it to Katie Bennett. Good defense by Winterburn to cut off seven on the shot clock for Hendershot, working on Joseph, draws the double team, kicks it to Wayne. She knows it's off and goes chasing after her own rebound. And she will come up with it and a foul will be called on the rebound. I believe the foul is called on Steph Umay. That will be her third personal, third team foul. And there is four seconds left of this third quarter. Wayne briefly open under the basket. Instead they're going to skip it to Hendershot who loses the handle of it. Cassie Breen finds Beckford Norton and she will not get the shot off before the end of the buzzer but that will do it for the third quarter here at the UEL Sports Dock and the London Lions lead Durham Palatinates 88 points to 32.
and welcome back to the University of East London where we are ready for the fourth quarter of action London Lions leading 88-32 to 32 over Durham and we are on triple double watch for two Lions players Kendi Leonard 14 points, 13 assists, 7 rebounds, 6 steals and Joe Leadham Warner who's checking in at the end of the third to start this fourth quarter 9 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists as Katie Bennett and Durham will get us underway for this fourth quarter as Beckford Norton nearly comes up with the steal Bennett to Hendershot inside Ume forces the skip out and Izzy Wood will put the ball on the floor Winterburn with the steal knocks it loose and Lions will be able to push in transition Beckford Norton will find Leadham Warner to Winterburn Winterburn attacking baseline tries to wrap around pass to Ume but Elle Hendershot with her hands in the passing lane and she will push coast to coast find Izzy Wood, her three left wing up just a little short and Durham really struggled to scoring in this second half, just three points in that fourth quarter, in that third quarter, apologies and that came early on from Jess Wayne on a step back three as Joseph lines up the straightaway three, tipped out, leading one or two Winterburn, Winterburn inside to Ume and she will lay it home 4-2 and a stoppage in play. It looks like Izzy Wood took a blow to the head or face. Hopefully she is all right and the referee is stopping play. And we will have a sub coming in for London. Lions physio staff heading over to attend to Izzy Wood. Looks like her shoulder perhaps is what we're seeing on the bench as Aaliyah Samuels Campbells will check in for Wood as Hendershot under pressure deflected pass deflected again by Joseph this time does fall into the hands of a Durham player and Katie Bennett and Jess Wayne with five left on the shot clock got nowhere to go good pressure by Joseph a tidy by Vita from just inside the half court doesn't hit the rim and that'll be a 24 second violation and Durham now exactly 10 minutes of action without scoring for the visitors as all London for the second day in a row with a super strong defensive performance in the second half held not in Wildcats for just 10 points yesterday as Beck for Norton drives pulls up a little bit long and Jess Wayne with the defensive rebound she was looked to be aggressive but Holly Winterburn makes it difficult and Dunn will rotate the ball with Goretti Otardo Bavito into the corner Jess Wayne pick and pop into the corner skip pass to Samuel Campbell extra pass to Bennett she'll line up the corner three and Katie Bennett makes no mistake and ends the Lions run and Katie Bennett second triple of the afternoon she's up to six points as Joseph steps in takes the long two little long leading Warner gets the put back gets the contact from Katie Bennett and if that is indeed on Katie Bennett indeed it is that'll be her fifth foul of the afternoon and that will end her day as Abby Lowe will check in and Joe Leadham Warner completes the double-double with 11 points, 10 rebounds and now we'll just see if she can find those three assists as she completes the three-point play for London who now lead 93 points to 35 as Hurtado Bavito picks the ball up under pressure from the length of Joseph. Ball will be deflected. Not quite sure whose foot it is off. It's given off the foot of Jessica Wayne. So it'll be Lions ball. And unfortunately for Durham, their 32nd turnover of the afternoon. As Beckford Norton receives the inbound pass, is going to drive. Gets all the way to the lane past Samuels Campbell and she will lay it home for two. Shanice Beck for Norton up to 15 points personal. Only Holly Winterburn and Shaquilla Joseph not in double digits for the Lions. Both have seven points apiece, apiece as Hurtado Bavito makes the triple. And that is her second from downtown this afternoon. Durham have shot the ball pretty well from three. But up to 36% as Leadham Warner 
underneath. Gets the assist from Holly Winterburn. As London approached the 100 point mark, they're now at their season average of 97 points. As another deflection, Leedon Warner comes up with the steal. She will push, find Shaquilla Joseph, gets the contact from Abby Lowe and finishes. And Shaquilla Joseph will have a chance to join the double digit club. That's the eighth assist for Joe Leedon Warner. And timeout, coach Lee Davey for Durham. As his side trail 99 points to 38 with 6.28 left of this fourth quarter. And welcome back to London, where the WBBL Trophy finalists, the London Lions, are up 61 points against Durham. As Shaquilla Joseph will have a chance to go to the line to complete the three-point play and bring up the 100 points for London. Having a look at the score from Leicester, it looks like the London Lions will play the Seven Oaks Suns in the trophy final in two weeks' time in Glasgow. Seven Oaks leading that 37 to 19 with two minutes left of the first half. Uh, Shaquille Joseph will convert the free throw. And she will join the double digits club for the Lions. So the only person yet to score three figures, or sorry, two figures for the Lions is Holly Winterburn on seven points personal as Leedon Warner to Winterburn looking for Joseph inside. Doesn't force, it's going to drive past two. Leedon Warner steps out of bounds. And that's the standard you, you see from Joe Leedon Warner there. Little mistake stepping on the line and for still frustrated with herself. As Abby Lowe, working off the horn set, is going to turn the corner, force a lovely pass to the cutting Jess Wayne, and she'll be fouled by Joseph. And Jess Wayne will go to the line and have an opportunity to be the first Durham player in double figures. This afternoon, her and Abby Lowe both currently on nine points apiece as Wayne gets the first to go. Just Wayne in her seventh game, had only shot two free throws prior to this, but now she's three of four this afternoon from the line. As Winterburn and Beck for Norton on the handoff. Winterburn gets the bump from Abby Lowe, and that will be the fifth foul for Abby Lowe. And she, her afternoon will be done nine points personal, along with three steals for the former Newcastle Eagle. And that'll be the third team foul on Durham, so a London ball from the sideline. As Beck for Norton gets into lane, goes to the runner, leaves it short, offensive rebound as Zania Stewart. And London will recycle the 20th offensive rebound for Lions as Stewart finds Winterburn. Pump fake, dishes it to Joseph. Shot fake to beat the buzzer, just a little long contested rebound. Stewart leading Warner, Hender the shot all coming up, fighting for it, but Hender shot was the one with it. As uh, Samuels Campbell finds Bar uh, Otada Babito in the corner, who somehow stays in bounds. Great defense by Zania Stewart to keep her feet moving and keep the guard in front of her. As Winterburn, China front, Hender shot there. Lions with the switch. And the shot to Wayne, left ring triple up and long, and Leedon Warner with another defensive board. 
That's her 11th of the afternoon. As Stewart and Winterburn working on the handoff finds Joseph, leading Warner. As Mark Clark going to the bench, Joseph 4-3 strings it. And I believe that's pro nine assists for Joe Leiden Warner. The stats have cut out, but Mark Clark does have, indeed it is, the stats just re updated. It's a nine assists for Joe Leiden Warner, one short of a triple double, but subs at the table. Wonder if Joe Leiden Warner will be one of them as Jess Wayne makes the layup for Durham. And she continues her scoring afternoon off 13 points as Beckford Norton into the lane. Layup is good. And she needs Beckford Norton now up to 17 points personal. Just one behind Cassie Breen for the game high as Wayne finds Hendershot inside. Working on Stewart, going to try and go all the way around. Patesha cutting back door, stolen away by Leedon Warner. And she will push. Can she get Winterburn a triple in and out? as Holly Winterburn can't quite get double digits and Joe Leiden Warner misses out on the triple double by the narrowest of margins and Jess Wayne will come away with the ball looks for a step back but smothered by Stewart she has to reset with Hurtado Bavito eight on the shot clock line switching the pick and roll step back three up and long contested rebound Hendershot bats it out kept not quite kept alive for Durham and that will indeed do it for Joe Leiden Warner, who missed out on a triple double by one assist. And Shaquilla Joseph and Shanice Beck for Norton taking a break. And now it's Kennedy Leonard's turn to see if she can pull off something miraculous for a, a very rare triple double. Kennedy Leonard needs either three rebounds or four assists in the final 325 of action. As Holly Winterburn gets a look at the triple just off to the right. Samuels Campbell with the defensive rebound. However, Jess Wayne receives the outlet pass from Samuels Campbell stepping on the line. So that will be a turnover for Durham. And the Longins with the baseline ball. Leonard to trigger the inbound. Stewart. As Winterburn coming off the ball screen, turns the corner, gets it to Azania Stewart. She got up and under, received the contact from Hendershot, trailing the play, trying to get the block in. And Azania Stewart will go to line for her fourth and fifth free throw attempts of the afternoon. Stewart with 12.7 rebounds, two assists, and two steals. As makes the first. Can't get the second to go, and a strong defensive board by Jessica Wayne. As Barbito trying to feed it inside to Henshot, just about comes up with it. Working on Azania Stewart, kicks it out. Deflection by Ume, who ends up on the floor. Good rotation by the lines to double team Hendershot, and she cannot find Patesha in the corner. Um, another turnover for the visitors. Unfortunately, and Kendi Leonard off to get the ball that nearly leaves the gym and heads under the bleachers. As we're into the final 2.42, half-time score from the WBBL Trophy semi-final in Leicester. It's Leicester Riders 21, Seven Oaks Suns 39. So the matchup that a lot of people around the WBBL have been waiting for, London Lions and Seven Oaks Suns. We've not seen it since opening day for both sides in September, where Lions pulled off a dramatic victory as Winterburn's free blocked by Hurtado Bavito, and she cannot keep it alive. Trying to find Shaquille, I uh, say, Steffi May cutting underneath. And a turnover there for the Lions. But that matchup we've eagerly anticipated, yet to see in the league. Seven Oaks Suns 14-0, London about to move to 13-0 as Winterburn called for the reach-in. We will get to see in 14 days' time in Glasgow, WBBL Trophy Final. And Leicester, Leicester Riders can pull off something miraculous. As Hurtado Bavito trying to beat the inbound, finds the two just about in time to avoid the five-second violation. Hurtado Bavito... Passing it to Liam McDermott, 
on the Lions bench. She's a little bit too strong on the wraparound pass. And it will be a Lions ball as we enter the last two minutes of action. As Azania Stewart receiving a double screen on the baseline. Going to have a chance to work on the two food. Gets to the left hand. Leaves it a little short. Kennedy Leonard with a rebound. Finds Cassie Breen. Holly Winterburn calling for it. Top of the three point line. Gives it back to Breen. Her three up. Off the glass. Steph Ume. Another offensive rebound. And gets the contact from Ellie Hutchinson on the putback. Layup does not go. But Steph Ume with her fifth offensive rebound of the afternoon. And she will go to the line for two free throws 15 foul on Durham as well and Kendi Lennon now two rebounds short of the triple double Joe Leiden Warner doesn't look like she'll get a chance to complete hers one rebound shy and Ume goes 0 of 2 uh, but gets her own rebound ball nearly stripped but Azania Stewart comes up with it Winterburn to Breen puts the ball on the floor Leonard in the corner, leaves it short. Azania Stewart, another offensive rebound for the Lions. It's the 23rd of the afternoon. Winterburn working on Patesha, going to the left hand and gets the finger roll layup to go. Holly Winterburn up to nine points and six assists this afternoon. The only Lions player not to get into double digits and she's got a final 80 seconds to try and fix that. But nonetheless, I'm sure Lions will be happy with this display. Of course, these two sides meet next week as Steph Ume comes up with the deflection, but is out of bounds, and Dunn will have nine seconds left to work on the sh shot clock. Um, looking for an option, nothing there. Uh, as Samuels Campbell just about gets up with Winterburn with the tip, Leonard with the steal, and Lions two on one. Win Ume, sorry, Leonard to Ume, and she will get fouled. And Steph Ume will head back to the line where she has struggled this afternoon. 0 of 3. But she also is very close to a double-double. 10 points, 9 rebounds. For Steph Ume. So it would be the third double-double of the afternoon if for the Lions if she can find a rebound in the final 62 seconds of action. And Jess Wayne for Durham has completed hers as well. 13 and 10 for the American out of Emporia State as Samuels Campbell brings the ball up in over the timeline. Last minute of action. Hutchinson skip pass to Hurtado Babito. Thinks about the three, waits instead for the screen, gets the switch. Skip pass underneath. Ume deflects it off the backboard. But the ball ends up in the hands of Samuels Campbell. And she will get her first points of the afternoon. The Cola graduate. And Kendi Leonard will walk the ball up. Call a set. As Ume pops. Going to drive on Patesha. Gets all the way to the lane. Misses it. And Azania Stewart with the tip. And I think she's trying to tip it up to control the ball. But instead tipped it in. You can see her laughing as she goes back to the bench. As Durham will bring the ball over. And with the shot clock turned off, we'll see if they dribble it out or play. Look like they're going to continue and finish this possession. As Hurtado Babita picks up the dribble, finds Hutchinson. Winterburn nearly breaks up the handoff. Hutchinson forces it up. Cassie Breen with the defensive rebound. And that will do it from London. Final score, London Lions 111. Durham Palatinates 44. And a really strong team performance yet again from the undefeated London Lions. 13 and 0 they move to in the WBBL Championship. And Cassie Breen, the leading scorer this afternoon with 18 points. But seven Lions in double digits. And Holly Winterburn with 9.6 assists as well. As Lions dominate from really start to finish. But the middle two periods in particular... London winning 37-11 and then the third quarter 22-3 and Mark Clark's team moved to that 13-0 done full 2-3 and 10 and that will conclude coverage here from UEL Sports Doc 
And thank you very much for joining us. And we will see you soon for the next Lions home game. Notice I need to. 